This latest video is about the Coolpix B700. Nikon or Nikon, depending on what country you're from. Nikon in the UK is an addition to the camera. You can actually see it's uh, got rings on it from 52 to 58 and a 58mm variable neutral density lens and I've read places where you can't fit normal things to it well guess what you can there you go now we've got a neutral density filter on the front variable and it shoots in raw so I always shoot in raw it films in 4K, so I always film in 4K. Why would you not if you had a camera that does it? The battery seems to last forever. It has a lovely 3 inch screen. And it's also got a TrueView EVF, electronic viewfinder. What do you see is what you get. And what you get is what you see, which can't be bad. Now, it's got a, a by 60 zoom, which doubles to 120 in dynamic fine mode settings and things like that. Now, that's equivalent to being 24 to 1440 millimeter in the 35 millimeter range. Now, I, I have a 600 millimeter lens and it's that length made by Canon and it's <laughs> my fingers can't span it at the far end it is huge it takes 180 millimeter filters which will give you a clue cost not going to tell you telephone numbers now this I'm really really impressed with it the, 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 the image stabilization IS is somewhere around worth around five stops. I'll show you some footage and I'll show you some stills that I've taken with it in this video. And it's one where I zoom in on a church to the full 1440 handheld. Amazing, absolutely amazing from a two third sensor. I can't say any more than that. I've got a camera up there that's very good and cost a lot more than this <laughs> and this really delivers it has so many things built in you've got the usual flash you've got a zoom out zoom in button there which means if you lose track of what you've zoomed in on you press the button and it brings the view back for you and then you can let the button go again it's got telly and wide there, it's got telly and wide there. It's got an FN1 and an FN2, which you can change to be one of anything you want. I just left them as they are. I'm quite happy with all my settings. I normally work in nothing but, it says on it M, and it does not stand for memory, because <laughs> my memory is shot. It stands for manual and I use it in manual all the time not with video I can't if I could I would but I've not found any fault not contrast not lighting not quick AF it's the fastest autofocus camera I have in fact it's the fastest I've ever used it just resets itself so quick you can be you'll see a video here of a, a bit of a cricket match and I've gone from full wide and I'll show you a panoramic shot still so you can see the size of the field right in to just over a thousand mil not the full 14 still handheld uh, and it's handling the different contrasts the focus and the lighting involved faultless <laughs> I don't have to say that so often because I like my editing I like taking things in to edit them 
But this one I haven't had to edit the sharpness, I haven't had to the, uh, limit or alter the white balance. In fact, it's really quite boring in that respect, it just does it. <laughs> now they say the 900 does as well, I don't know, I haven't got the 900, have I? I've got this one. And the 4K is very good, I can't find a problem with it. Because if I'm going to do 1080, I shoot it in 4K and downsize it because it's still better in 1080. It has Wi-Fi built in and also uh, that NFC, you just tap your mobile phone against it and away you go. It gives you remote working, I don't bother with that either, but I've tried it just to see what it does. And it was pretty impressive. Oops, he's vanished, he's gone walkabout. But this is just proof to show you that he does actually do his own editing. He's gone to do something on the other camera. And here he is back again. It's 20.3 megapixel stills. Now if you're in the main, just putting them online, you don't need 20 megapixel. So I often shoot anything I want in 4K video. And there's a reason for that. I can never miss a shot. Oh, do you know what I mean? <laughs> dodgy finger, dodgy hands, dodgy eyesight. You get the picture. This sorts all that out. It's not a cure, right? I'm not saying it's a cure for dementia or anything like that. It's just handy. I shoot most things in 4K. Little 10 shot bursts, 10 second bursts, sorry. And when I get back to editing, which I love, <laughs> any one frame gives me just over an 8 megapixel shot. That's enough for a 12 by 16 print. Don't need any more than that. And most of the time, if your stuff's going online, who needs 8 megapixel? You, 2 megapixel's too much. So you can see where I'm going with this. I can shoot anything I want, cricket the other day, and I shot some video, and I have some cracking shots of the ball and the bat, just touching each other, just being hit, etc, etc. It's not great still work, it's just setting your video up to run for 10 minutes, and that's all you do. In 4K, this is limited to about 8 minutes. But I never shoot an 8 minute shot, so I, I'm quite happy to be doing 10, 20 seconds putting them together, 2, 3, 5 minutes putting it together. So, I'm quite happy with this as it is. I've not found a thing to criticise, and that surprised me. There's the 3 inch screen, the usual, what they do, and it's got the EVF, when your eye goes over it, the screen goes blank, etc. But you also have the choices switching on and off at the back here. That's your movie button there. You've got no movie on here. M does not stand for movie, it stands for manual. And the control there, the thumb wheel, and the circle wheel on there controls your aperture and your speed in manual. Now, does it stick out a long way? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll use the side controls to go telly. There we go. That's it. That is 14... What is it? 1440 millimeter. 1440. That's it. It's got a built-in anti-shake factor of five stops. So if you're having to work at f2.8, f1.8, on this you can work at f5.6, f8. Don't matter. It's pretty good. And the the built-in scene choice. It's also got a user position U, where you can save what you're using if you want to. I just leave it on manual. <laughs> And the scene mode, I do use this because when you're using panorama you don't get to choose any of the settings. And it's got easy panorama built in and you can do it that way 
and you can do it that way. And you don't have to tell it which way you're going to do it. The camera works it out. If you want it on normal wide, you press the choice as normal wide. And it says normal 180. And below it, it says wide 360. And it's truly a 360. <laughs> uh, you get dizzy. You run in a circle. Um, and the size of the file is like a... It's a 16 megapixel. So, did I get that right? 16, yeah, 8, yeah, somewhere, anyway, it's big. So, if you were going to put it online, you downsize it by 50% anyway. And it's got a load of choices in there. It's got easy panorama, pet portrait, moon, bird watching, soft, selective color, multiple exposure lighting, Time lapse movie, super lapse movie, not use them. Scene auto selector, portrait, sport, party, indoor, beach, snow, sunset. Dust on close up, food, fire. I've tried close up, that's impressive as well. I'll put a shot in and show you. Backlighting, and then you're back to easy panorama. And that's just turning that one button. That's pretty amazing to me. <laughs> I was brought up on an old box brownie, <laughs> 120 and 220 film. Those were the days, hey. <laughs> and the beauty of this here variable is you can then fit your lens cap on it and leave it on if you want. This is one of the close-ups. They done, done it in macro mode, as is the next one. That's a, one of the Cooney Cooney pigs up on the farm. You can stop these at any stage to have a look at the detail. That's just a feather. <laughs> the next one was taken at 1440 mil, and I've edited that light in and so on. But that's just the moonshot. And then we're into macro again. This is just wandering out around on my walks. I do a lot of walks. <laughs> uh, there's some good old thistles. And then you, we're going to the panorama shot. This one here is the cricket ground, and that's about four megapixels shot in the landscape mode. And this one's about seven and a half megapixels shot in the portrait mode. So you can see how far away from the actual cricket I am. And this is the local church here. 24 mil, and there is where I'm going to zoom into. That's 1440. Look at that. That's handheld. I couldn't believe it, honestly. <laughs> and now some of the cricket shots. You could see where I was sitting before, and these were taken from the videos. So each one would be 8 meg before I put it on here. There's a bowler just catching somebody out. That was a good catch. And there's another one I like. Look, both the bowler's feet are off the ground. That's one frame of a 4K video. And then I went to catch the bird in the graveyard, doing a bit of collecting for its young. And these were just handheld at around about a thousand mil. You've got to get one just to play with it and try it and see how you go on. Thanks for watching. Ta-ra the new Jimmy!